everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel, Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my December TBR. So, 2020 has been such an up and down reading year for me. I have had the worst, a couple of months throughout the year have been the worst reading months I've ever had. It's been a crap reading year in terms of that. So, I am behind on most of my goals I think for 2020 like there's a bunch that I don't know that I'm actually going to even hit them this year so I've got a lot on my TBR this month um and I'm hoping to read honestly even more than this because even straight up for my Goodreads goal I need to read 36 books in December if I'm going to hit my Goodreads goal I honestly don't think that's possible like I don't think I'll hit my Goodreads goal this year which will be the first time I've ever not hit my Goodreads goal but you know, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. I'm going to do my gosh darndest. I do finish work for the year on the 23rd of December, which there means there are like, what, eight days at the end of the year, nine days, eight, nine days at the end of the year that I could conceivably read a ton. But who knows? I honestly don't know. But let's just get started and talk about everything that I hope to read this month. So the first category, as always, is my library books. If you saw my December, not my December, my November wrap up, then you guys know that we had a really weird lockdown situation in Adelaide crop up in November and because of that the library had to close down for a couple of days and they as a result extended automatically all library due dates till the first sorry not to the first to the 6th of January which was fantastic for me because I was super behind on my library due dates and that is now giving me an opportunity to focus on the books that I have out from the library that I need to read in order to hit different goals that I have. So I have six books here that I need to read um, for different goals. So those are the ones that I'm going to be focusing on this month. And then I can go into 2020, hopefully with a fresh, fresh, <laughs> freshly on library due dates and just try to be on top of them better in 2021 than I was in 2020. So the first library book that I have here is The Next Time You See Me by Holly Goddard Jones. This is a mystery I think this is more mystery than thriller um it basically seems to follow two different characters who I should assume their timelines their sorry their storylines are going to intertwine it follows a teenage girl who is walking in the woods near her house one day when she discovers a body and then we also follow a woman who is searching for her sister who has recently disappeared and she doesn't know what's happened to her sister so that is the first one I then have Cracked Up To Be by Courtney Summers. I have been on an endeavor this year to work my way through Courtney Summers' backlist now that I have read, um, I've read Sadie and All The Rage but I loved them so I want to read everything else she's ever published. I think this might be her debut book if I'm not mistaken. I honestly am not 100% sure what this is about. I know it's about a girl who I think is the perfect girl, like you know she gets perfect grades, she's always like does everything by the rules and then some tragic event happens that really affects her her family and her friends and she believes that she's at fault for this and I think that then leads her to now be the perfect mess um instead of the perfect girl so I said I've really loved everything by Courtney Summer so look forward to reading this one by her I then have The Cinderella Murder by Mary Higgins Clark and Alfair Burke. This is the second one in a series. If you recall, I read the first one of these earlier this year and absolutely hated it. Um, I thought it was terrible, but this is the one that I needed to read for one of the goals was actually book two in the series. So I'm going to push through and read at least the second one. These are super, like the writing and spacing is like really big and it's only like, how many pages is this? Just over 300 pages. So I should be able to get through it really quickly. The premise of it sounds great. Because this series seems to follow a true crime television series and them trying to solve true, um, like, sorry, um, unsolved, like, cold cases. And that sounds amazing and, like, something that would be right up my alley. But the first book was honestly really poorly written. And so I'm not expecting that much more from this one, but I am going to read it um, to help achieve my goals. Um, the next one I have is Love and Other Theories by Alexis Bass. This one is a YA contemporary. It says on here the tagline is Rule 1, Do Not Fall in Love. Rule 2, see rule one so all I know about this is I believe it's about a group of teenagers who um well it's about a girl who her and her best friends have all of these rules about how not to get your heart broken I think it is um but then a new boy moves to school and threatens to shake things up so got that one I then have the 13th tale by Diane Setterfeld so this is one that I'm rereading I've spoken about this before um I read 13th tale I can't remember it was either just before 
I started my booktube channel or maybe even in the very early days of my booktube channel and I didn't like it. I didn't really know that much about it when I picked it up, but I gave it, I think, two two stars or maybe three stars. I think it was two stars. Um, and since I read it, I have seen this video crops up quite regularly on booktube and people seem to love it. Um, and I want to reread it to see whether I was wrong or if everyone else is wrong or to just like firm up my opinions on what I thought of this book. So I'm going to reread this one. And the final library book that I have is Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. Kramer? I have never, I haven't hauled this yet. I actually picked this up from the library in November because I was looking at um, some of my goals and I realized that somehow I just completely missed this book. And so I frantically placed it on hold. It came in and I checked it out and I had honestly no idea what this is about. The back doesn't really say anything. Um, and I, in my head, thought that this would have something to do with vampires. I thought this was like YA vampires. But I actually think it might be werewolves because it says on here she can control her pack but not her heart. So I'm thinking some werewolves, some forbidden romance. Um, and yeah, it's actually like kind of chunky. It's about 450 pages, which is kind of chunky for a YA. Um, I believe this is the first book in kind of a longer series. So I'll be interested to see whether I like this. It's also like mid 2000s. Like I think this is going to be like really cliche mid 2000s, like paranormal romance. Yeah. 2010s are kind of in the, um, era following like the success of the Twilight movies, that type of thing. But I'm going to give it a go and we'll see what I think of this. So those are the library books. Allow me to slide them out of the way so that I can, oh, sorry, you guys, Ooh, we've got so many books on the table. I need to make room for my physical TV. <gasps> Apologies. I hope the angle isn't completely different. I just knocked you guys <laughs> off the table. Um, okay. So physical TBR. So the first two books that I have is the second and third books in the Mara Dyer trilogy. So I have The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin and The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I don't think I've spoken about the first book yet. I think that will be my recent reads video, my upcoming recent reads video. I read that right at the end of November, um, but I plan to read books two and three and see how this trilogy is going to end. Um, I then have Intensity by Dean Koontz. I actually have no idea what this is about. The back just has a picture of, um, I assume, Dean Koontz, um, but there's no synopsis on this, so I actually don't know what this is about, but I've heard um, really good things about this particular book by Dean Koontz. Um, I have read only one other book by Dean Koontz. I've read The Fun House, which honestly is not a good book, but it's like one of the first horror books that I ever read. I believe this one is a thriller, not horror, but I've heard really positive things about this, and so I'm going to read it this month and see whether I like it or not. I then have The Ice Twins by S.K. Tremaine. This is a... Um, thriller um it's about a um family they have twin daughters and then one day one of the twins is tragically killed um or i don't think she's killed i think she dies in like an accident but they then the parents move with the surviving twin um to like a new area and then when they get there the twin surviving twin starts to claim that she's the other twin and that the other twin died um, and so now the parents are confused they don't know which twin is which or what's going on so I love twins. I've talked about this before. Twins is like a buzz thing for me. I love twins, particularly when it comes to thrillers. So looking forward to that one. And then I have Heart Shaped Bruise by Tanya Byrne. Now, I actually didn't realize until I was just looking up the synopsis of this prior to filming this video that this is actually YA. It's a mystery thriller and it seems to be about a girl who is awaiting trial um, at a, like a young offenders institution. Um, I presume for like murder or something. And this is her story. Um, and it says things like, you know, they say I'm evil. Uh, they don't know who I used to be, who I could have been. Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever shake off my mistakes, blah, blah, blah. So I haven't really heard that much about this. This is, in case you couldn't tell, we're entering the area of my TBR where I started to go on a lot of really big secondhand book binges. And that's where I got all of these. So I don't know as much about them, but I'm looking forward to reading a bunch of hopefully really fun thrillers in December. So that's those. But the final book for my physical TBR, as always, is my TBR teacup pick. I'm super excited for this because this is going to be the last one in this format because I'll be, oh, I just dropped one out that I'm going to have to pick up. Um, I will be doing something different with the format of this in 2021. Um, likely what I did last year, something similar to help me achieve different goals. So I'll be reassessing this and doing something probably different moving into 2021. But for 2020, 
Um, this will be the last one where I pick out a book from all of the books on my TBR. Give me one second while I pick up the one that I dropped. Okay, they're all back in here. As you can see, this thing is stuffed to the brim. Uh, this is my favorite part of my TBR every month because I just get so excited about the possibilities of picking out any book ever. So let's just pick an absolutely random book. We're going with this one and see what we get. I have no idea what this is. Trick or Treat by, oh, by Ricky, Richie Tankasley Cusick. If I'm not mistaken, I'll put a picture of the cover up here, but if I'm not mistaken, this is one of my like really random books that I bought secondhand that's like a YA slash, no, not middle grade, like like YA, like point horror style, like thriller horror books, like teen, like early teen horror books. I'm actually really excited and it helps that this is a smaller book. Um, I'm pretty sure if I'm getting this book correctly, so that should help me get through um, a book much sooner. Uh, like, you know, get through a book quickly for the month of December because it helps. Because like I said, I've got like 36 books I need to read this month if I'm going to get my Goodreads goal, which I'm probably not. But, you know, we can try. So that is the physical TBR. So now to move on to the ebook section. So as always, this is made up heavily of NetGalley arcs because I'm super behind on my NetGalley arcs. I'm hoping in 2021 that I can get back on top of NetGalley and that I can therefore start including more of my Kindle backlist because I've got hundreds of books on my Kindle that I've purchased myself and I'm just not getting to them because I'm focusing on NetGalley every month. But for this month, we have a lot of NetGalley. So, and I apologize because these are a lot of repeats that you will have heard in previous TBRs because I've been real slacking on my net galley. So the first one I have is I Know What I Saw by S.K. Sharp with a publication date of the 1st of October. This one is a thriller about a girl with um, perfect recall like in her memory and who is trying to solve a murder that I believe her like boyfriend at the time was like charged with and she's trying to solve the crime. And then have You and Me by Nicola Rayner, also with a publication date of the 1st of October. This one is about a woman who is a stalker She's always like hiding in this like guy's garden and like looking through the windows, but he is like got a wife and everything. And then one day she sees something um, and that changes the course of the story. Um, I then have Witch by Finbar Hawkins. This one has a publication date of the 1st of October as well. This one is a historical fantasy about a, I believe it's about a, I think it might be YA. It's about a girl whose mother is burned is like killed by witch hunters and now she's like on the run but she's also trying to protect her younger sister something along those lines i then have the girl of hawthorne and glass by adan jarit pool this one has a publication dated the 6th of october this one is ya fantasy about a girl who was not made sorry she wasn't born she was made um and made to i think hunt ghosts um but i don't know it all sounds very complicated but it sounds intriguing I then have The Pact by Dawn Goodwin. This one has a publication date of the 8th of October. This one is a thriller about a woman who has an ex-husband and she, like, I think he had an affair and has basically left her for, like, a new wife um, and has a new baby and she's really, like, upset about it. She moves to a new flat and um, makes friends with this woman who has a young son and they basically start getting to talking about taking care of each other's problem in a murderous fashion. I am intrigued though because I get the vibe for some reason, I don't know why, but it leads me to believe that like the other woman's problem is her young son, which sounds extra fucked up. So we'll see what that happens with that. I then have No More Secrets by Jennifer Harvey. This one has publication date of the 21st of October. This one is about a woman who, I believe it's her brother, was um, convicted of murdering her boyfriend like in high school and it's now like 20 years later he's recently just been released from prison he is still proclaiming his innocence and it's about her finally trying to get to the bottom of this and found out find out what happened um next we have um the haunting of beatrix green um which has a publication date of the 28th of october and i just was like always forget to write down the author's names of this one because there's like three different authors i know it is yeah rachel hawkins ash parkinson's and vicky alvia Schechter. um this one is a historical paranormal um about i believe it's about a woman who is like a fake medium um and the guy this guy hires her he's basically i think trying to prove that she's a fake and he asks her to come to this house and like hold a seance and she does and i believe that they somehow release an angry spirit so that sounds fascinating um next i have little bones by nv peacock with a publication date of the first of 31st of october this one is about the daughter of a really famous serial killer um and I think the cases are starting to crop back up in the media or someone is starting to do copycat murders and it's starting to bring everything back up for her 
and it follows that story. Uh, next, I have She Lies Alone by Laura Wolf. This one has a publication date of the 9th of November. This one is about um, a woman who a new woman moves to town. They're both teachers at the school. She becomes really close friends with her. But her friend had does some like dicey things, but she's like really like loyal to her friends, always defending her. Um, and then one day her friend is found murdered after a school event. And I believe it follows that story. And then the final ebook that I have is actually a Kindle book because it's one that I've been meaning to read all year because I need to read it for one of my goals. And that is Peyton Place by Grace Metalius. This is a... Um, it's set in the 1950s. I believe it might have even been published in the 1950s. And it's basically, the storyline is basically like Desperate Housewives type of storyline. It follows, I think, a bunch of women who all live in like a small town or within the same street or Peyton Place. Maybe they all live in Peyton Place. Um, and all about all of their secrets and lies and betrayals and all of that type of thing. Um, like I said, I need to read it for one of my goals. So I've got that on the TBR. And then the final category on my TBR each month is my audiobooks. So the first audiobook that I have on my TBR this month is Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman. Um, this is one I was really excited that my library got in. Um, they just got it in recently and it's one that I had recently um, marked as to read on Goodreads, which is like just such a coincidence that that happened because it's not like this is a recent release. I believe this book's been out for several years, but this is a Australian book by an Australian Indigenous woman and is um, a dystopian um, but is very much seems to like mirror like colonial um, Australia and the colonialism of the Indigenous people. I'm not really sure exactly but I've heard um, it just sounds really interesting and like I said I'm always happy to support an Australian Indigenous author. I then have Fool's Fate by Robin Hobb. This is the third book in the Tawny Man trilogy. I'm hoping to get that trilogy completed in 2020. I then have one that was on my TBR last month that I didn't get to, which is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. This will be a reread. I'm trying to reread Never Night and God's Grace so that I can finally read Dark Dawn and finish that trilogy. And then the final audiobook that I have on my TBR is Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James. This is a middle grade. Um, and I believe it's about a girl who finds out that she can... No, or... I don't know if she can go into the books or the characters can come out of the books. And I believe you get a lot of like classic um, like children's um, children's book characters like Alice in Wonderland, characters like that. And it's about her meeting all of those characters. And all that sounds so fun. And I've heard such positive things about it. Um, and so uh, I'm going to listen to that audiobook this month. So that's it. Those are all of the books on my TBR. Um, I apologize. I feel like I was speaking at absolutely a mile a minute in this video. I apologize. Um, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below. If you've read any of these books, if you've got any thoughts, if you want to chat about what you guys are planning to read this month, I would love to know, are you guys frantically trying to meet goals before the end of 2020? Or are you just kind of cruising through to the end of the year? Let me know. Uh, please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my channel. That is all I have for this video today. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.